High school boy football look this season. People them ready, you know. All right then, he go, man in cup. Only for your shield, you make we link up. See what the champions cup, Ben Francis. What a cup which team are win the championship this season. Yo, it's a all right, let's talk some more football on the Sportsman Zone. Action continued in the Issa Schoolboy football on Saturday with a huge slate of games taking place in the urban area Manning Cup and the rural area the Costa Cup. Focusing first on the Manning Cup, let's have a look at the results. Mona High, the defending champions, 3-0 over Charlie Smith. Waterford, impressive, 9-0 over Gainstead. Gainstead have been taking quite a few poundings this campaign. <laughs> Jonathan Grant, 1-0 over Tarrant. Campion College being spanked 5-0 by Kingston College. Cumberland and Meadowbrook, 1-1. One, one. Penwood, they've been in good form. 1-0 over Hussey March. Remember, they had that early season 2-all draw with Kingston College. And St. Catherine, one of the pre-tournament favourites, drawing 0-0 with St. George. George's College. Over in the Da Costa Cup now, among the matches was a Zone D clash between Trelawney rivals William Nim and Cedric Titus. Guess what? Sportsmax was live on location and we have those highlights. Full match highlights in this one. Zone D of the Da Costa Cup. Brown troubling the keeper. Gainer early in the encounter. Had another strike towards goal. Kept him honest, kept him earnest. Here, this one went across. Saron Williams played it for Henriquez, who had a weak attempt. Had another bite of the cherry, but again, blocked and Thorpe with the clearance. Great opportunity from that free kick. Taron Eccleston won the free kick, also did the duties. And here's another great opportunity. Watson playing him through. First time shot wide of the mark. Come on, Phillips perhaps would have been beaten. William Nib, though, turn it at this moment. Henriquez, what a pass to the engine. Joshua Walker into the promised land. They continued to prove a threat. And this one sent across. Prince Bernard, though, did not get it on target. Second half action now. Look at the strike. Oh, my. Oh my, show it again. And perhaps you could show it again and again and again. What a strike. He was forlorn at the moment. 2 0. And then it would even get worse. In the area, Henriquez with the back heel attempt. Walker tried, but it fell nicely to Saren Williams, the number nine, who was always dangerous all afternoon. And he cut the shot off and it was final rights red to Cedric Titus in zone D more attempts would come Brown it fell nicely for Williams once more but it was off the upright oh my so very close and a statement victory in the Trelawney Derby yeah digital sponsored highlights package from the William Nib versus Cedric Titus encounter in Trelawney. William Nip putting by three goals to nil. They are yet to concede a goal this campaign, but that is not new when it comes on to William Nib and the early season football in the Da Costa Cup, Leighton Levy. No, it's not. And of course, one of the fine things I find interesting about that match is that one of the scorers, young Williams, used to be a goalkeeper mm. and converted into a striker, which makes it quite interesting that he's scoring and almost scored twice, hitting the crossbar as well. You know, he's, he should be very familiar with the goal <laughs> because of his previous responsibilities. But William Lim is one of those teams, as you rightly said, it, they tend to start the season usually very well but somehow don't last the distance for some reason. Because it gets tougher after the group stage. <laughs> I know, but, I know, but it, 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 you would think that after all these years, that they'd find a way to, to clear that hump. Huh? They, they clearly have something going on there, but they probably need something extra, but it's, I know, maybe you see in Kangaroo, I'll give them a talk, because I think they have the potential. Now we've seen more and more, a lot more of these Western teams beginning to come come forward. I mean, Rossi's has been dominant for, for many, many years. But teams like William, they're emerging, but just can't break that glass ceiling, it seems.
Yeah, of course, from what I understand, Usain Bolt does assist the program, not just the football program, but the track and field program mm -hmm. there at William Nevis, the alma mater. But I think Dwight Jeremiah, the head coach of the um, William Nib team, has done a really good job in recent years yeah. of building this program. And maybe, just maybe, they are not quite at the stage yet to make that breakthrough. Um, but who knows? This could be the season. They, they've been close, as you pointed out. And uh, yeah, maybe this year they will get that big breakthrough. It will not be easy. Um, but clearly, the, as you pointed out, they have a thing going. There is a structure there. Yeah. There is a system in place. And it's just a matter now of getting the players to have the belief um, that they can do it and that they can go deep in these uh, competitions, the, 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 the Costa Cup, um, but also the, the other knockout competitions if they get an opportunity um, to play those. So very good win for them at the weekend. Four from four they go now. They have uh, 12 points. Point. Do we have the other the Costa Cup results from the weekend? Quite a few the Costa Cup matches, um, mind you, from Saturday. So let's run through those now, starting with... Uh, Theodore Whitmore's Cornwall College 2-1 over St. James, so that's three from three for Cornwall College. Now Culver and Cambridge 2-2, Grange Hill 2-1 over Little London in that zone D. William Nim 4 from 4, 3-0 over Cedric Titus as we said. Spot Valley also 4 from 4, 3-0 over Mushet Holland and Discovery Bay ending 0-0. In a very tight zone E, Monroe College lead on 10 points after that 1-0 draw with Stets. Stets in mid-pack on 5 points. Newell 4-1 over Lakovia. BB Coco are second 1-1 with Magotti. And that one, as usual, really, really tight. One of the surprises on Saturday, Belair going 4-4 four from four in zone F. 5-1 over Donovan Dukes, Manchester High. That definitely came to me as a surprise. Mayday, 2-1 over the Cartwright College. Alphansus Davis, 5-0 over Alston. Homo Technical, 2-1 over Mile Gully. Thompson Town, 3-0 over Claude McKay. Here's another one of the surprises. The defending champions, Clarendon College, beaten 1-0 by Central. Clarendon College still lead the group on goal difference. They have nine points from four matches. Central, nine points from three matches. So they are three from three. Lennon, 2-0 over Edwin Allen. Another slight surprise. Old Harbour beating the two-time champions, Garva Maceo, by three goals to two in a group that has been led by Glenmuir High School. Glenmuir with 15 points. They are five from five. Ultra Reyes, they are going very, very well. 7-0 over your castle. They are now four from four. four. Paul Bogo, 1-0 over Morant Bay. Titchfield, 1-0 over Wycliffe Martin. And St. Mary High, 4-0 over St. Mary Tech, getting you caught up with all things the Costa Cup from the weekend, all things schoolboy football <laughs> from the land of wooded water. But that's not the only schoolboy football action that we bring on the Sportsmax platforms. So stay with us because we still have more after this.